Hey everybody, this is Everest Paradox, and welcome back to Scratch That Itch, the show where we take a look at a game on the website itch.io or itch.io and see what all the fuss is about. This week, we're going to be taking a look at Who Must Die, a game by a team of developers, in fact. Uh, they don't actually have, it appears, a name for their development team, but the game Who Must Die, it's currently in a prototype version. And description, you're replacing a doctor charged to find who among the three patients is the one that is contaminated. To do this, you can use a whole range of experiments to perform on the, on the, on the sick. You can ask the guard to do your dirty work for you. You must choose just one patient to kill, or maybe this job is too hard for you and you will take the last option not to choose. Let's see. This is no, this, the a final version of this will be released soon with more rooms, more actions, more info, and a deeper story. Stay tuned for the final version. Uh, I definitely recommend checking this one out as it does appear that the team is still working on it. Uh, and definitely take a look at it for yourself because the demo is actually free to take a look at on itch.io. But back to the game. Let's see, choose a patient. Let's see, you're a doctor. Da -da -da -da. Choose a patient who will die and access to previous argument. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So this one is actually in Unreal, which is a little bit of a change from what we've been usually playing. For the most part, we've been playing games that have been using Unity. So we'll see how this one works out. Um, send Guardian to one, two, or three. Music. Which I guess that's what's playing in the background. Send Stimulus. Calm. Uh, lights. Alright. What's this? It seems like music calm infected patient. And a gun. And three dossiers. Food and Rondell. Due to quarantine, wore a kilt in public and exhibitionism. Wow. Uh, Johim. Town Gravel... Graveldol. Due to quarantine, just looking weird. Wow, okay. Quentin Haywood. Due to quarantine, his wife beat him and he became crazy on the highway. What is this sickness we're dealing with exactly? Dangerous infection spreads only only at day. Okay. And we have a little board of the infected where they were located. Rage and violence, contamination, calm in the dark. Alright. Room three is angry. We could send, uh, let's see. <laughs> okay, I rather like that. They actually change what they're doing when different stimulus is in inputted into the environment. I wish I could turn off that other music, though. That's rather annoying. There's music, like, in the background, and I'm not sure what it is. But I like that. That is very creative. Alright, the lights are out. Oh, does having the lights on make that annoying-ass sound? I'm about to find out. Thankfully, the, that music has stopped because it was freaking annoying. All right, send stimulus, exciting gas, or calm. Let's do calm. I don't know what calm does exactly, but oh, it just knocks people the fuck out. Very well. It's like uh, like we gassed them. To make them go to sleep. Uh, we could wake them up. Yep. Okay. And our guardian isn't doing much of anything. There's nothing in the... Like, we have a corridor window, but it doesn't appear to do anything. Alright, let's do... Hard music. 
No, he doesn't like that. He's a little bit perturbed. And he's just rocking out over there in his straitjacket. What's funny is this guy seems the most animated when affected by the music, which has me interested. Because what does that mean exactly? Uh, let's see, we have an ink blot. Ooh, do you really want to kill yourself? No. What kind of fool do you think I am? Music blank calm. Infected patient. Uh, cigar. Rage, violence, contamination, positive reactions to musics. Calm in the dark. I mean, as things stand, he might just be nuts. He might be infected. He just seems relatively uninterested in pretty much everything. Uh, let's send the Guardian to 3 and send what hap see what happens. Go do your job, Guardian. Oh, Guardian. Wake the hell up. You have work to do. Okay, he's not doing much of anything. Um, oh, corridor lit up. Very well. Oh, he's gonna go do things. He's gonna go do things. I'm actually rather impressed with... Oh, I think the game just crashed. Yep, it did. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and reload that and see if we can't figure out what is gonna happen next. Because this game has me very intrigued now. Okay, so... Oh, that annoying-ass music again. Well, I guess it's only annoying whenever it's, like, overlaid on top of other stuff, so it's not terrible. But I want to see what happens when the Guardian goes and checks on number three. But I'm pretty sure number two might be the most obvious, um... He seems to be the most affected by the thing that affects the, um, the infected. Alright, let's look away just in case, like, the actual visual stimulus of that, of the corridor stuff makes the, um, game crash. Oh, oh, okay. Things are happening. Oh, he's gonna go beat him? Does he have a nightstick? I don't want him to do that. Okay. Yeah, I think he just tased him. Okay. Um. the guard to go away now. Yeah, here he goes. I don't see yeah. I'm pretty sure that was number three freaking out. Pretty sure. Anyway. Uh hmm. Kind of hoping more things would be interactable. Alright. Gun. Do you really want... No! See, that's patient three? That's the one in the straitjacket? Probably. Yeah, patient number three is the one in the straitjacket. But honestly, this guy, for just looking weird.
Let's see, seems to be affected by the music. Symptoms list, rage and violence, contamination, positive reaction to music, calm in the dark. Okay, they need to turn that music off. It's really annoying. There we go. I don't know what's causing it either, which is infinitely more annoying. I mean, if it was like an intro thing where they played it for the intro to the game, I would be a little bit more lenient, but... Knock him out. He took the longest to knock out. Well, maybe him. Alright, let's wake him up. No, I don't know yet. Because I don't actually know if there's any, like, repercussions for me to kill the wrong person. Honestly, this reminds me a lot of, uh, well, not not completely, but uh, just the way it looks like. There was another game that was requested by, I can't remember who, but I decided not to take a look at it as a, as a, um, as just a blind let's play because there were so many mechanics involved. It's called, uh, The Fear Equation, which I'll probably take a look at that in another time, but... Like, this particular, like, console where you had to make choices and stuff and things happen as a result sort of reminds me of that. Just a little bit of a, a little bit of a thing to look at. Um, let's see what... So, the infected is calm in the dark, but I can't actually see who's calm. I could send the Guardian to go mess with the other patients, but, like, neither of these two seem violent, and he just seems crazy. Alright, let's send the Guardian to two, since he's the one I'm most interested in. Go, Guardian. You have work to do. And the TV is still not working. And that doesn't appear to go to anything. Man, why is the... <laughs> yes, physical violence is going to tell us exactly what... Who the, uh, who patient zero is. Yeah, that actually looks very painful. Seems very happy about it, though. Oh. And the game crashed again. But I th think that gives me a general idea of what's going on. Uh, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go ahead and choose... I'm going to go ahead and restart the game, and I'm going to choose my victim. Because I can't help but think it's number two. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Uh, yes. You made the wrong choice. Be careful next time. Wow. Okay. Well, okay. It's kind of hard to tell, but either way, I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna call this particular episode here. So this has been Scratch the Ditch. If you want to see more games like this, please make sure to like the video, comment in the comment section below, share, subscribe, follow me on social media, and if you want to learn more about Who Must Die, there will be links in the description below. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!